Yo guys, what's up? The Blue Gangster is back with another Tekken 7 tutorial and now we're going to talk about, you already can see, Jin Kizama and guess what we are going to talk about? It's the $100 combo which original name is actually the Dash combo and yeah, first things first, who invented it? It's Cherry Berry Mango who is like in my opinion the top three gym players in the world he's one of the top three gym players in, like in the world he's Korean and he done it in a tournament and everybody was like whoa I don't know what tournament that was but whatever so why is it called the hundred dollar combo that's because a well-known Tekken youtuber called avoiding the puddle Eris who is uh, like actually number one when it comes to YouTube Tekken tutorials and stuff and he's also a commentator when it comes to Tekken tournaments and yeah you probably should, should know him and yeah he's done a video he, do, he does videos where he says you, you you gotta like give me like an exercise like Tell me what combo to do and how much money you will bet on a combo so I can do it and put it online, right? So how difficult is it? How much money would you like bet for that one, right? And he done all of that stuff and he and somebody came up with that idea letting Aries do that combo and he said this combo is worth a hundred dollars, right? And Aries was like, okay, let's try it first and after he done it he was admitting that this combo is actually really a hundred dollars worth and that's why it's actually it's actually a dash combo but since Ares done that video everybody calls it the hundred dollar combo right? Yeah. so this hundred dollar combo it's wait a second one two three four five six seven hit and 70 damage doesn't sound that much right well the thing is Jin has some combos which can actually like deliver more than 70 damage but you won't use that combos online because those starters for this combos well except you using rage rage drive rage art like just a reg regular combo if you just use a regular combo online this is like maximum damage 70 when it comes to gin because otherwise you will have to do something like I don't know probably this You see, that's like way more than 70, but you won't use that online because a string like this, let's face it, you're only gonna use it against noobs, but especially when you play in tournaments and against, let's say, yellow ranked, yeah, yellow ranked players, it won't work because it's way too easy to block, right? The second thing is, the second thing is, this is like the max damage combo after an electric. Like if you start with this electric, which is a direct tailspin, you won't get more damage with any other combo. You have to do the hundred dollar combo, the dash combo, to get like the maximum damage out, out of the electric star, right? And since this is like the best combo you can get out of an electric and if you do that in a like stage where where there are walls or breakable walls or balcony or whatever you still have the wall game because this right here the ender of the hundred dollar combo right of the dash combo is a wall splat move you don't even have to end it like this because with 1 plus 2 in the hand it will still hit. So that means you've got a wall, wall splat in the end of that combo and you could do like I did in my last video with Jin a 2 into down back 2 to 3 or a 3 1 into 
back to one you could do all of that or or I don't know one plus two or forward plus one plus two you still got the wall game after that combo and that's why this combo is so great because even though it's 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 like not only the best option out of the EVGF it's also the max damage combo out of the EVGF it has freaking good wall carry the range is awesome because of the micro dash if you can deal it and you still got your wall game you know that's why it's considered the best combo Jin has got and how difficult is this move how difficult well for me in my opinion there are like the top three most difficult moves in Tekken. Number one, of course, without a question, Township Upper. If you no, don't know what that is, go to YouTube, type it in, get some Tekken knowledge, and you'll like immediately will see what I'm talking about. Like there is not a harder move than Township Upper that exists in the Tekken community till now. So number two is counter hit into perfect electric uh, there are a lot of guys on YouTube who actually only call it P for perfect and EVGF for electric wind god fist right but it's actually a counter it down forward to Kazuya's down forward two into an perfect electric yeah! So the next thing is th that you need something special to get that combo done. And I will try like to show you first uh, what that combo actually is, how it looks like. Let's try it out first and after that I'm going to tell you why this combo is so difficult. All right, that's how it's done. So, and I think I'm going to do it step by step so you can actually understand it better than just to tell you where like the, the key move is. So the first thing you have to do is an electric, right? CD2. Um, I'm going to show you in a command list. Uh, wait a second should be uh we already passed it there was it. this one cd plus two right so that's the move uh you gotta practice that the way i practice it is if my opponent if we would have like a stage with wall i'll simply go wave dash until we on the wall and then just spam it or I'll let my like opponent duck like for the, the whole time so I can spam it and it won't hit because it's a high move right high hit right so and if you get like let's say 5 to 7 out of 10 you're good to go I've done like my record my personal record was 20 in a row but I've only done that once and there are a lot of times online especially because of lag and everything where I want like to have an electric like right this move but then you already saw it uh, this could happen this could happen or this could happen right so you have to like practice it that's the only way you can handle it and the second move, which could be differ difficult in this combo, is down 1 plus 2 for the Zen stance, not the back one, because of the range. You have to do it with down 1 plus 2, down plus 1 plus 2, into 3 plus 4. So, and sometimes this is gonna happen, or this is gonna happen. If you do it way too slow, or way too fast, it won't hit. You just watch for watch out for Jin's legs and in the second when they are completely stretched where he ain't moving anymore you simply press 3 plus 4 it should be pretty easy okay sometimes let's say 
two and out of ten times it whiffs when I'll do it okay but a 10 out of 10 should be easy here right so the next thing you have to do is immediately after the second hit hits a back three into forward one right back three forwards where it goes after this knee into the Zan stance and press one right so he does this hit right here okay this is the next thing that's actually the third part of this combo right now come on bam 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 here we go again let's do it again so that's the third part yeah! why is it so difficult why can't I do it what do I need to know to like actually get it done a hundred percent or is there like a, a trick like a cheat or whatever to do it easier no it ain't you have to do it like the exact same way I will show you otherwise it won't work first let's try it just just to press all the buttons like all the commands one after the other right so let's go you saw it there were two versions of what could happen if you ain't doing it the right way first the second back three forward one won't hit whatsoever and the second problem is that this two these two cold hit but not the last hit of the combo because they're like this is actually a range problem right you're not close enough to your opponent so that this last string actually hits completely so we've got actually if, if we talk about the basic thing here in tagging we've got two options right a forward step or just press forward or the second alternative is a forward dash by pressing forward forward right so let's try it with a regular forward and you can see down there in my comment history that I actually pressed forward right there in the middle now you saw the forward dash is actually right there in the middle but it did not hit why because my opponent already touched the ground he wasn't in mid air the second gin was not in mid air so I could not catch it with my second back three into forward one two right so we need something in between and in between is this micro dash and this is like the key point this is the the hardest part of the combo and that's why this combo is so difficult because of this micro dash so I'll again show you how to do it you see this forward forward into back three but it was no regular forward dash that was the micro dash and uh, the thing behind the micro dash is that it's actually a very fast forward dash but you'll do it so fast in between those two strings that you actually can see a complete forward dash all you see is just one forward step right so that how it actually looks like well and that's like the key thing to it yeah! let's talk like around this move like what can you do if it actually are, is not going to hit right so um, there's always an option let's see if I can get it right if you're too slow if you're too slow hitting this right there you can still continue but not pressing two after the string just one because then you can't get punished because this move right here bomb bomb 
the second one makes you being punishable so just press the one after that not the two and if you if if this happens what you just saw that uh, the range was okay because of my forward dash and he still got him but it was still slow enough to not be part of the combo there's another option for you you saw what I did there I knew that the second back three forward one is too slow to be part of the combo but because it was like kind of a reset all I did was add another back three forward one two and it's gonna hit every time when you see that the second back three forward two in the combo is not part of the actual dash or hundred dollar combo so you can simply just add another back three forward one two and you're good to go because this is also the max damage alternative if the second back three forward one two won't hit and the thing is you don't have to start with an electric you could do basically the same thing with a crouch dash counter it three with a counter it crouch dash three or a cd three because it's actually the same type of thing right here right so there are a lot of alternatives and I don't know all of them but those four are like enough for me and of course there are some alternatives you don't have to start your dash combo with um, back uh, with an electric into Zen stance 3 plus 4 there are other alternatives uh, where you can start with electric into regular wind hook fist right that's another way to do it okay I can do it right now ah done it all right and the hardest one the hardest one is with counter it down forward four into dash electric and then back three you see you actually saw it right this is hard because you need to dash forward so the electric won't take that much range to to hit another back three forward one and this is also a dash combo option um, I'm not gonna show you a video right now where I did all of those three one after it, the another in, in warm up mode Now, how do I practice this combo? Well, as I said, first you'll need to, to learn, like, to get out all the electrics you need. The second thing is, um, well, if you got the electric right and you look at Jin's legs, you don't need to practice this one. Even not this one. Right? But... How do I practice micro dash, right? Because all you do here is a is a fast forward dash, so you can't actually like see if this is a regular forward dash or a micro dash. But you won't need it. You won't need a micro dash um, in that type of situation. So you can already pr practice it this way. Do back three forward one micro dash back three forward one, because if you ain't doing the micro dash, the second back three won't hit. You see, and if you do a regular forward dash, you actually actually see uh, how my how much range this move has actually got, right? If you do it fast enough. You actually stop in the middle. If you do a micro dash, you actually stop in the middle and not here, right? 
if you do a regular dash you'll end up here right in front of Jim's face but if you do a micro dash you see you stop you're stopping right in the middle so that's how you practice the micro dash and this is like a, a special type of situation because this one Practicing the micro dash this way. This is actually exactly all those moves you need to get the dash combo done. So you don't need to practice like back three, forward one on its own, and a micro dash like on its own. You can do it all together. And the best thing about it is, since you have to do back three, forward one twice. You can just spam it and it will be good to go like in what type of situation in any type of situation so it doesn't matter all you have to practice and that's actually the hardest part of this move is back three forward one into a micro dash back three forward one so you can actually spam it yeah. mostly most of the times People can do that combo because they already got like the time window feeling. When they play too much Tekken, they already know that the the time window, right? Like when you can buffer. For example, if I do this, I could close my eyes and I still will get a one, two, four because I'll already know by l um, listening at it uh, when to press one, two, four after a CD1 because this time window is freaking easy right and this time window is like the regular time window of Tekken in general if you play Tekken 7 and you got that time window like already like saved stored in your mind you can use it with any character and any combo is gonna hit every time because that's the regular time window and that's the problem with the top three moves because town jet upper counter hit perfect electric and the hundred dollar combo these three combos are those moves where you can't use the regular time window to get them done and that's the hardest part because if somebody thinks of doing a back three into forward one into a forward dash into another back three forward one they already got like this flow chart time window they they don't even think they already they already know how to press it how fast to press it when to press it when does this move end where can i already buffer or press my forward forward and right after that when like the time window for the second back three forward one you know that's already like automatically in your mind when you're playing Tekken but that's the that's the difficult part of those top three difficult most difficult moves in Tekken they ain't got that like flow chart usual time window to get them done and that's the most difficult thing about them because if I will do uh, the, if I will try a hundred dollar combo just like in the same way I do any other combo with Jin it won't never hit it will never hit never ever because the time window of this combo when it comes to the micro dash is completely different it's completely different and that's why this is so hard because a micro dash to do a micro dash actually ain't that hard but to like um, change up the time window you already like have stored in your system like this is the core of this thing this is why this is the reason why this thing is so difficult not only the hundred dollar dash combo but also the PEVG counter it PEVGF and the town jet upper thing that's why those three things are that hard and that's basically it so if you ain't get it done even if you feel like you did everything right don't be pissed or something that's just the usual type of thing I don't want to know how much time I spent to get that thing done and I could not even be happy like making it 
the, the first time I actually did that combo right, I wasn't happy at all. Because I did it accidentally, and it, and it, I did it actually at that point when I was like, fuck it, if it hits, it hits, when it ain't gonna hit, it ain't gonna hit, I don't give a shit anymore. You know, I did not, did not do it under, like, really intentionally. So, that, that's the reason I, wa I wasn't happy about it, like, actually getting it done. And that's, that is also going to happen to you if you got like the flowchart thing in your mind already. So don't be pissed off. This is like very difficult on, on a like, it's, it's a common thing that this one is difficult because it's not the usual time window you've got on any other combo with any other character, right? So... As I said, don't think that you're a noob or, or, or whatever just because you can't do that combo because it is that difficult and that's why, for in my opinion, is like number three in the list of the most difficult moves in Tekken history. So I hope this video was good enough, hope you liked it, hope it could actually help you out to understand this combo and how to do it. And that's it. I'm the Blue Gangster, and I hope to see you soon, and I'm out. Word. Yeah!